Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Friday, freaking Friday. Man, this is good because we've got the rookies on the field. But, you know, I'm actually very, very happy about this. Um... I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it was. A, I'd like to know what it was that uh, Mozzie Smith diet-wise, where he literally lost about, uh, you know, 40 pounds, um, literally during the season. I, I need that diet. I would love to lose 40 pounds because I'm not playing football anymore, and I'm just tired of being a fat ass. But he is back up to 333 pounds, I believe. He's put 40 pounds back on and getting ready to be to rake havoc in the middle. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, um, I am like Papa Smurf, okay? I'm true blue Dallas Cowboy fan. I am true. I'm, seriously, I'm true blue. Look, at my writing here. It's blue and everything else. Um, I bleed blue. Well, until the oxygen hits it, then the oxygen hits it, then it turns red. But it's blue inside. It's I'm serious. But I'm not quite there yet like my man, Dak Attack. Now, I like to say I'm Papa Smurf. I like to think of all these youngins like, you know, I'm Papa Smurf. They're my kids, okay? But he's going crazy. You know, he's like, oh, I'm beginning to believe, man, the way you know, he's like Tyler Guyton is huge and everything out there. And he said, you know, BB might be as good as, you know, well, definitely better day one than Biotish. And, and you know, maybe he's going to be like the new Travis Frederick and they set ourselves up. Okay, I'm, I'm not quite there yet. We, we got to get a game, you know, because we talking about practice right now. Practice. Not, not, not the games. Not the games. We talking about practice. But honestly, though, I am happy to hear that Mozzie Smith, that the mad scientist that is the Dallas Cowboys organization that says, yeah, we get it. You do that very, very well, but we want you to do something you've never done before. Okay, Mozzie, we understand you have been a beast in the middle. You know, a big fat guy that's literally clogging up the toilet. You know, like that big turd you know that just won't fl you, you keep flushing and nothing moves nothing moves but we want you to get streamlined we want you to be able to attack the quarterback and they screwed up they're writing the wrong and they're saying go to the buffet okay go to sizzla and get all you can eat get some barbecue get some joe boo wings because the fat boys are back and, you know, they can never be whacked. The fat boys are back. Remember the fat boys? Yeah. So we got that. But Cooper Beebe, Cooper Beebe, who I've said to my wife, you may have heard me talking on their elder road. And if you see it anywhere else, you remember I said this right after the draft. To me, he reminds me of Juggernaut. When you see those shoulder pads up here and it's that big helmet and it's kind of, I'm telling you, he looked like Juggernaut. And I'm hoping he hits people like Juggernaut. We talking about practice. Let's go to the tape and hear what he said after his first day at Rookie OTA. Just get a head start, you know, on the playbook and really get a feel for it. I mean, I want to be caught up as much as I can as I catch up to those vets. I've already been here. So, you know, when I'm out there with them, you know, they can trust me and, you know, trust that I can make the calls, the right calls, and just have faith in me. How much work have you put in since the center instead of guard? What have you done since the draft? What is your what is your approach overall? As you, as you... Yeah, so right after draft, Coach Lari called me and said, you know, start working on center. So ever since then, I mean, I've been working on my snaps, that kind of thing, and um, doing doing different Zoom calls and stuff to, before this just to get ready and just preparing myself, you know, doing the stuff at home just to get ready to, you know, make sure I know my stuff. What's the Take biggest difference? Oh, who are you snapping to? Uh, it just depends. I mean, just, I mean, anybody that, that'll hope that'll catch. I mean, that's really the biggest thing for me is, I mean, just any time, like I'll be in the hotel, and we'll, I'll be taking snaps, you know, in the ballroom and that kind of thing. So just any time I can just. Back could, home, like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd have my dad out there catching, my little brother. Um, it just, you know, whoever was available. Have you already been interacting with 
with some of the um, veteran offensive linemen like Brock and so uh, Brock Hoffman. And can you talk about kind of the there's competition, but I guess there's got to be cooperation as well. So how is that dynamic? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've got a couple texts, you know, from Zach and, and Brock right right during the after the draft and. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we're all here here to compete and win, and we're going to help better each other. I know, you know, he's already been helping me out and, you know, preparing me because, I mean, at, at the end of the day, we're all one team, and, you know, you want to lift each other up. So that's, he's been helping Amen. me. He's been doing a great job of that. How surreal was it to look down at your phone and see it was a text from Zach Martin? <laughs> I mean, it was it was just unbelievable. I mean, he was somebody that I, I've watched that, you know, I've incorporated a lot into my game. So just to see that text from, you know, a first ballot Hall of Famer is just an unreal experience. What parts of this game have you worked to put into your own? Um, just his physicality and how smart of a player is. I mean, he's a, he's a technician. That's that's why he's so great, and he's just so smart. He understands defenses, and, and then that physicality, that finish that he's played with, I try to put in my game. Mm -hmm. What would you say are some of the biggest differences between guard and center, and how have you uh, even now started to adapt? I think the biggest thing, honestly, is just being able to run the entire offense. Um, as center, you know, you got to be the one to make the calls. So, you know, it's your job to, you know, call the fronts, call the ID. So I think that's just the biggest difference. Is there anybody that you grew up watching and kind of idolized and kind of maybe not even in the guard position but center that you're trying to work your game after? Uh, so I didn't watch much centers. Um, I really, you know, I was focused on guard, you know, Zach Martin, Quentin Nelson, those type of guys. So mm -hmm. not too many centers I watched growing up. You worked with uh, Duke before the draft. Tyler's over there now. Do you plan on going back over there now that you'll be here? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So I trained there for um, pre-combine stuff, and, you know, we have a great relationship. I think he done a tremendous job getting me prepared uh, for this level, so I'll definitely be working love, out love with him. Love the sweat just, just running down the I just think his knowledge and, and just how technical and, and how much he understands the game. I think that was the biggest part going there is just learning more about the game so I can play that much faster. And then, you know, when it comes to technique, just, you know, making it more fluid and just more crisp on that kind of thing. Does he want what Solari wants or are they all kind of? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, I mean, he works out with a lot of the Cowboys guys. So, you know, his, his philosophies, you know, co coordinate with here. When you were there pre-combine, did you have kind of any, I guess, imagination of Sunday playing across the street? Um, no, it's funny. So when I was there, I met met up with Deuce, and you know we kind of talked about having a K State reunion here, and <laughs> you, you know go. here we are. So you know it was kind of funny. I you know thought about it, and you know Duke t texted me during the draft. He was like, "Hey, the Cowboys are are blowing me up about you. Don't be surprised if you get drafted here." And here I am. You know I'm excited and I'm blessed. Take some of the suspense out of it for you. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> what have you thought about going through this process? Tyler Guyton and potential yeah, so, you know, I've got to know Tyler, just, you know, he's been a Big 12 guy just like me, and, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, we, we linked up, you know, last year just kind of getting to know each other, and, you know, I'm excited. He's a heck of a player. He's a smart player, physical guy, and, you know, I'm excited to be able to get play, play with him. Cooper, you, you guys talked about the mental you? part yeah. about center. How do you prepare for that at this point? Is it just the playbook? I, I mean, do you work with coaches? How do you, how do you prepare? Oh, uh, yeah, so it's a little bit of both. A lot of it is just, you know, self-discipline stuff, doing stuff at home. Um, you know, just looking through playbook, watching film, that kind of thing. And, you know, I, I get with Coach Solari, too, and kind of, you know, visualize that different thing. So it's just really doing all that stuff on your own time, you know, to get you mentally prepared. Have you and Tyler, uh, even just in these first couple of days, kind of leaned on each other? What have some of those conversations been? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, just like yesterday, last night, you know, we were doing walkthroughs in the hotel together just to make sure, you know, we're all on the same page. And wow. I'll quiz him about something, he'll quiz me about something, just to, you know, uh, keep us fresh open, and guys. make sure that we are you know, know our stuff. Have you had an opportunity to talk to Dak? Last two right here. Have you had an opportunity to talk to Dak yet? I have not. Okay. Rookie classes grow close anyway, and a guy like Tyler, two high picks, you can transition this line and be part of it going forward. Have you talked about that at all, or is there just so much to do right now? I think right now there's just, you know, so much to do, trying to learn the playbook, learn, you know, what the Cowboys are about. But, you know, that's definitely something, you know, in the future when we get settled and that kind of thing we definitely talk about. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Love hearing that. Okay. So there we have it, guys. We'll be talking about this more uh, in a little over an hour. We'll be doing our live stream, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. It's getting exciting right now, and uh, maybe the Cowboys aren't as bad as everybody says they are. Dan Leo and Filthy 500. I'm Mark Holmes, <laughs> and I can't wait to see you all. Peace.